With an updated EPA rating, the Tesla Model S is now the first electric vehicle ever made to get an EPA rating of over 400 miles of range on a full charge. Tesla has been leading the EV industry in range ever since the Model S came out. Back in 2012 with a range of 265 miles on the Model S, even today competitors are just starting to catch up to that 265 mile range eight years later. Along with this news, straight from Tesla also comes rumors of a 100 kilowatt hour Model 3 battery, which could lead the Model 3 to be well over 400 miles itself. So how did Tesla get the Model S over 400 miles? Is a Model 3 over 400 miles also on the way? Let's find out. If you enjoy this video, please hit like and get subscribed. So how did Tesla get the Model S over 400 miles on a full charge? Well, they didn't update the battery. A lot of that actually has to do with efficiencies in other areas having to do with weight, aerodynamics, thinner tires, things like that. Now, when you do the calculation, this is assuming the Model S is getting 248 watt hours per mile, which is pretty low for such a big car. Even in my Model 3, I am really not seeing that low. I see closer to 270 to 280 watt hours per mile. But this is what the EPA test determined. Yesterday, the Model S range was just below 400 miles, and there was a funny story that Elon Musk shared that the EPA had actually left the Model S turned on overnight before they did the test, so they couldn't get the full range, and that's why the Model S didn't have that 400 miles of range. He said they were waiting to repeat the test, the test has now been repeated, and now we have over 400 miles. Now the other funny thing about the EPA test getting messed up on the Model S is the EPA actually came out and denied that that happened, uh, but now the test was done and the car has over 400 miles of range. I don't think, you know, in the last few weeks or month, Tesla has updated enough things to add these miles of range to the car. Um, so that's kind of weird, I wonder why they denied that. Um, or what really happened there, what the true story is. But the more exciting news to me is rumors of a bigger battery coming out for the Model 3. And what kind of range could we expect for a 100 kilowatt hour pack in the Model 3, which is the same size pack the current long range Model S uses. Using the stats of the current Model 3 getting 322 miles on a full charge, the math works out to getting an efficiency of about 232 watt hours per mile. Now if you can get that same efficiency with a 100 kilowatt hour pack, which that pack will be heavier, so the efficiency would go down a bit, but let's assume Tesla makes some other improvements to help keep the efficiency the same, that would give you a range on the Model 3 of over 430 miles. Now as exciting as that sounds, it seems hard to believe that Tesla would have their cheaper Model 3 come in at a higher range than their more expensive Model S. But what's coming soon for the Model S is the new Plaid powertrain, tri-motor, and most likely with that, a bigger battery. So again, right now the Model S has a 100 kilowatt hour battery. There are rumors that this new Plaid powertrain Model S is gonna have a 125 kilowatt hour battery. Now if that's true, if we can get the same efficiency out of that car, again, tri-motor, car will probably be a bit heavier, but let's just assume efficiencies are the same. If we can keep those efficiencies the same, we'll be getting a full range on the Model S 125 kilowatt hour pack of over 500 miles. Now this makes a little more sense. You have the Model 3 with over 400 miles of range. This would give the Model Y also over 400 miles of range. Then if you have that Plaid 125 kilowatt hour battery in the Model S and Model X, these are close to or above 500 miles of range keeping them in their premium spot worth a little bit more money and bringing the Model 3 and the Model Y up. Now this leaves the competition in the dust. Now this also rolls into battery day, which has been delayed uh, because of COVID and who knows what else, but I am so excited to hear about battery day. This is most likely gonna bring that 1 million mile battery to all Tesla vehicles, giving you a better battery, hopefully a more efficient battery. I haven't seen anything about that. Uh, unfortunately, it may cost a little bit more, but if this new battery can use the vehicle to grid functionality that was rumored, I have a video about that here, then we could recoup some of that Additional cost. Now what else supports some of this uh, hypothesis here? Well, what other vehicle is Tesla making soon, that's coming out soon, that has over 500 miles of range? Actually, there's two. Cybertruck coming out in 2021 is advertised with 500 miles of range on the tri-motor pack. You could assume that's the Plaid version of the Cybertruck. And then the Roadster is advertised with over 620 miles of range when it's finally released. And that was rumored to be a 200 kilowatt hour battery. And that may end up being true depending on how much power they can push out of that million mile battery at a time. They may not need exactly 200 kilowatt hours, but when you have all that power to get zero to 60 of 1.9 seconds or less, you need a big, huge 
huge battery so you can push a lot of power out all at once. So it looks like everything is really coming together here. Battery day is going to give us some insane stuff. It's sounding more and more like we're going to get updates to the Model Y, the Model 3, the Model S, and Model X with the Plaid powertrain. We'll definitely be hearing about the million mile battery, hopefully some vehicle to grid. That is something I am really excited for. What are your thoughts? Do you need a 400 or 500 mile EV? I definitely am looking at that Cybertruck, that tri-motor. It's a bit expensive, but uh, 500 miles sounds really good, especially in the winter. We get that range loss here in Michigan when it's cold out. And to have a 500 mile buffer that would maybe be 300 miles on a really cold day, that would be awesome. I would love it. And I definitely would use the utility of a pickup as well. Hope you enjoyed this one. I look forward to talking to you down in the comments and hearing your thoughts about this, your excitement, uh, having some conversation. If you think there's anything I missed or got a little wrong, let me know. I will talk to you down in the comments and you will see me in the next video. So Autopilot and I are happily driving along 